Hey Hannah, it is Wednesday, August 4th at like 12 in the morning, so I'm starting fresh for the day. Uh, this video comes to you in three parts, but for three, there we go, there it is in the camera, three parts. But first I want to tell you how pissed I am that I just recorded this awesome epic video and it failed to upload because my internet connection sucks ass right now. I don't know why because my freaking thing is right next to the wireless internet. Of course it can't find it. Yeah, of course you can't find the bullshit. <laughs> and okay, point one, point one, well part one. I'm so stupid right now. I'm tired, I guess. Um, I'm so happy that you finally made a video. Um, I understand that you can't, you couldn't make it for a while, and now that you can only have web at your grandparents' house, it's it's okay. I I appreciate that you made it finally. So it's not just Steph likes to do this and Steph likes to do that. Finally, it's like I like to do something too. There is someone on this channel that's just not me. Um, and books, of course, you know my opinion on them. And Liam, adorable, adorable. So, good first video. I know it's awkward, but after a while, I just get used to it. <laughs> okay, part two, I wanted to show you some of the things I got just that I thought were cool and that you'd like. Um, this headband, which is epicness. Uh, this eyeshadow, just because the blue really pops. And then this nail polish it's called wild blue yonder it is the most epic nail polish ever i know i'm wearing pink right now not the right color um finding nemo awesome movie and the great mouse detective uh hello guess what we're watching when we're at school okay and then i got yu hakusho season one and season two now hannah i know you have no idea what this even is but Yu Hakusho happens to be my favorite TV show, anime, and manga. So you're gonna have to get used to me watching it all the time. Um, you don't. Have, I'm not gonna force you to watch it because I don't know if you like anime or anything like that. But I do. I love it. So it's just be my private stuff. Don't worry about it. <sighs> okay. And part three, which is what my main thing's going to about, be about. Um, books <laughs> yeah you did it in your video and I did it in my video two videos before that but I want to talk about not just reading what we love books we love or books we're reading I want to talk about um, book series so right now I'm reading City of Ashes City of Ashes blah, blah, blah. City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare it is the second book in the Mortal Instruments series and it is first one was City of Bones. Um, book series can be a good thing and they can also be a bad thing. Uh, Harry Potter, great series. I loved every single one of those books. Um, Twilight, I hated every single one of those books. And um, what I, I mean, I guess I wouldn't have minded if Twilight had been one book and not four books because I don't think the second, third, or fourth were completely even necessary. Like, they were not necessary at all after the first one. Like, you didn't need them. Um, but what really brought this up was I just got out these books from the library, and um, the one series is Private, and the other series is House of Night. And before I say this, I maybe they're better authors with other things because I've read other books by them and they're not bad authors like the people that write these books it just makes me question a lot of things um, for example uh, Meg Cabot she wrote The Princess Diaries um, I love The Princess Diaries uh, not only the movie the books um, I loved all of them however there were ten in that series and while I read every single one of them and I actually own all of them um, some of them are completely unnecessary uh, after the first four, I didn't think any of them, of them were really needed. I still read them, I still enjoyed them, but they could never compete with the top four for me. I will always love the top, like, those four. Actually, the first three are, like, all I ever really needed. The fourth was, the fourth was good, I liked the fourth, and the fifth was good. I think the sixth, the sixth, seventh, and, like, the sixth and seventh, I really noticed it went, like, downhill. I was like, why am I reading this? And then I was like... Oh, well, this is kind of okay. I'm glad she got a really good happy ending in the end. Like, everything turns out great, but did you really need 10 series, 10 books to do that? Um, and 
why I don't like it is wanting to be an author. I want people to read my books and love them. And I'm sure there are people out there who love the 8th, 9th, and 10th uh, Princess Diaries. Um, I mean, I said I was one of them, but what bothers me is, like, I don't want to just keep getting, like, I don't want to write trash to get money for it. I want to write it good. Like, I don't want to write, like, ugh, well, that first book made a great number, a great, like, amount of money. Maybe the second book would do it better. There's a point where the 11th, the 12th book, it's not needed anymore. Like, I don't, you should stop writing that book because you probably killed it by then. Um, like private it just keeps the first book I kind of enjoyed and then the second book it was okay but I think I read like the 10th or the 11th it's just it's gone downhill it's like some crazy shit happens in every single book and it's like how can all this happen to one girl like it's based in reality it's not based in, among vampires or anything it's based in reality and somehow one in one book and this only happens over like a year I think too and it's like and one book she's getting tossed off a boat and another she's deserted on an island for a week in another book she is leading a secret society and in the next book someone's disappeared like after a point you do not need that anymore and it just bothers me that she kept writing I guess and I don't and House of Night I hate I can't even I'm gonna read all the series so I can tell you how much I hate it because I have I'm of the opinion that you can't talk about a book unless you read it which is why I'm allowed to talk trash about Twilight because I've read all four of them and I've seen the three movies I can talk shit about it now same thing with Harry Potter I love Harry Potter so I wouldn't talk shit about it but I'm saying if you've never read it don't talk shit about it which bothers me so much oh, I hate people sometimes I was writing about it to my mom yesterday so I'm not gonna bother you with that and I promised myself I'd keep this under five minutes and it is now seven minutes and eight seconds so I'm going to say goodbye <laughs> Okay, Hannah, good night, good luck, have a great week, um, I'll see you next week, we only have a couple more weeks till school begins, um, yeah, so, have fun with life for a while, until I see you. <laughs>